Hello everyone, the Green Scorpion here, and welcome to episode 2 of the Green Scorpion's Q&A. I'm back here with 15 more questions ready to answer. Now, if you want to ask any questions, once again, there's a link in the video description that links to the introduction video. Go ahead and ask your questions there if you have any. Now, before we begin, I do want to say something. I realized that in the last episode, I mispronounced uh, quite a few usernames on YouTube. Guys? YouTube usernames are pretty weird, to say the least, so if I do mispronounce your name, I do apologize, just mention it in the comments, and I will remedy it for future episodes, alright? So, let's say we get started here. The first question comes from Conjon1992. What consoles do you own or have owned? Well, I currently own a Wii as well as a 3DS and PlayStation 2, all of which I play uh, pretty regularly, um, respectively each one. I've, I have owned a GameCube, as well as an N64, I've had a Sega Genesis, and pretty much all the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance uh, handhelds, and I started out with a Game Boy as well. And I, I also had a Dreamcast, so you can immediately tell that I'm more of a Nintendo fan rather than anything else. Don't get me wrong, the other consoles are great, but money constraints and, you know, things like that, I've always um, preferred having Nintendo consoles, so that's pretty much it. Alright, this next question comes from KongFan7 and Retarded Scraggy. What's your favorite No More Heroes boss and boss theme? Well, that's pretty convenient because um, my favorite boss fight from the game is Alice Twilight, and her boss theme is actually my favorite in the series. Um, that that That's one example of a boss fight that's really... It's the kind of boss fight that makes you not want to fight it because you feel really bad, the character is memorable, and... All in all, that was just a very interesting battle with because of how conflicted you feel in fighting it, or at least how conflicted Travis felt. So that would definitely my favorite. My, that would definitely be my favorite boss fight and my favorite boss theme. All right, this next question comes from a bunch of people, from Gammy Footify, Loyalist Viral, Doctor Oliver Cook, Fu Chu, Arc 13, Master T610, Tommy the Player, and Meta 527 the Second. What's your favorite video game? <laughs> That's the big one, isn't it? All right, my favorite video game is The Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. That game is just absolutely spectacular. I I can barely find anything wrong with it. The music, the gameplay, the dungeons, the bosses, everything about that game is just so enjoyable and it's the and it's one of the few games that got motion controls spot on. I mean, I mentioned Red Seal 2 before, but Skyward Sword, it really feels like you have a sword in your hand, and I love how the puzzles are not only exclusive to getting through a dungeon, like, they actually put the puzzle element into the, into the combat itself, and I thought that was a spectacular, uh, spectacular design uh, element that they put in. Ocarina of Time used to be my favorite, but Skyward Sword came in and took the place, and it's definitely my favorite game of all time as of right now. Okay, so this next question comes from I am White 97 How did you come up with the name Green Scorpion? This is actually a very simple question to answer. The Green Scorpion is really just my favorite color and my favorite animal. Green is my favorite color, Scorpion's my favorite animal, like... Pretty much, I just went with that, really, because I, I know a lot of people come up with clever names like Fawful's Minion or Rabbit Luigi or things like that, but I just decided to keep it simple, really. And you know what? It's been going on pretty well for me. So, yeah, that's how I came, that's how I came up with the name. Okay, so n question number five comes from Megacaz5005 and Angel Phoenix 19 do you have any inspirations that made you start making your own videos like friends, family, YouTube users, etc.? Alright. Well, I... I've always watched uh, YouTube countdown reviewers uh, since uh, high school. And I've always thought, you know, I would really like to do something like that. I've, I've asked a couple of friends for feedback and, like, asked them if, uh, you, if they thought I would be good for it, they said. You know, they said uh, things like, I have a good voice for it, and uh, you uh, know your video game stuff, and things like that. Eventually, when I went to college uh, for communications design, and I received a class that taught me how to use Final Cut Pro, 
it basically went from there. I uh, experimented with this with the software a little bit, and I eventually found out how to really make these countdowns. And once uh, the top ten heroes came out, it basically went from there. So. The biggest inspiration was definitely YouTube users because I uh, I look at them and I basically use them as a template and uh, as great examples to, to uh, improve my work. So definitely, I definitely had a lot of inspiration in making these videos and I hope that it continues to uh, progress as it is. Alright, the next question comes from Mega WTF Gamer once again. What is your favorite movie? Oh. <laughs> My favorite movie is Toy Story. Believe it or not, I, I, I'm a huge fan of animated movies, and Toy Story is actually the movie I grew up with. It was a huge part of my childhood. And just everything about that movie was just so enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it as a kid when, because it was, you know, a movie about toys, but looking at it nowadays, there are so many elements in that movie that, that only adults would get. It's actually quite amazing, and if you look out for them, you'll be really, like, a lot of moviegoers would be very impressed. And I, while I don't think that uh, Toy Story is the best that Pixar's come up with, that would be up in my opinion. Toy Story is definitely the one that's uh, closest to my heart in terms of movies, so definitely Toy Story. Alright, this next question comes from MasterT610. What's your favorite comic book movie of all time? The Avengers! Oh my god, The Avengers! Such a great movie. I, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything, but every that movie is just so well put together. The characterization, the writing, the action. The, just, just so many great elements. And let me tell you, the Hulk stole the show in that movie. Great character, and pretty much all the heroes and characters in that movie were just very well done. And they definitely did a good job in fleshing out uh, Nick Fury in that movie as well. Even if you're not an Avengers fan or a comic book, fan, comic book fan or anything like that, you will enjoy that movie. I guarantee it. Alright, this next question comes from Poke Piku. Who would you want to do a collab with besides the Autark of Flame and the Fiery Joker? Um, yeah, because everyone wants to do a collab with those guys, don't they? But, uh, as much as I want to do a collab with those guys, if I couldn't choose them, I'd choose Rabbit Luigi. Rabbit Luigi, I would consider my third favorite countdown maker, and he does incredible work. His script writing, his editing, everything, everything that he does, he does very well. I don't think I've seen a countdown by him that I would dislike. And even his, even his voice is great for his countdowns. While it is a very thick accent, it's strangely appropriate for his style. So, yeah, if I... Yeah, Will, if you're listening to this, and if you want to do a countdown, a countdown collab sometime, please uh, let me know, because I would really love to. Alright, so this next question comes from Jamie Fadonnell. What is your favorite Team Fortress 2 class? The Sniper. I always love using the Sniper. Um, I don't use the Sniper only in Team Fortress 2, because I like using all the other classes, but the Sniper is the one I use the most. Anytime I play any kind of first-person shooter or something like that, I always find myself playing as a sniper. Like, if I see a sniper rifle uh, lying around and I could find a nice place to just hunker down and snipe, snipe my enemies from afar, I am going to do that because whenever I play, play first-person shooters, I'm not good at a frontal assault at all. I always lose a frontal assault. So, yeah. While I like using uh, characters like the Spy or the Scout or the Heavy, uh, the Sniper is the one I definitely enjoy the most. Alright, this next question comes from a straight theater geek. What are your future Let's Play options, and can we vote for a future Let's Play game? Huh, that's actually a good question. Okay, um, I do have a future Let's Plays planned after more Moss of the Demon Blade, which I am doing right now. But, uh, if you guys want, tell you what, let's do this. My next options for future Let's Plays after more Masa is going to be either Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, uh, Trauma Center New Blood, S uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm going to do one of those four. I haven't really decided yet, so you know what? Why don't you guys decide? Uh, go ahead and leave a comment in this video or something like that, and uh, or anywhere else. Just let me know. I'll count up some votes, and you can vote for one of these four, and I'll and uh, whichever one has the most votes, I will do the next play on, the next Let's Play on. So, um, yeah, I hope that answers your question, so go ahead and vote. 
Alright, next one comes from Pock Block. Have you ever twisted your ankle or done parkour? Um? Actually, I have done a little bit of parkour, but nothing really too spectacular, and... Now that I think about it, I never have really twisted my ankle, which is really strange, because I play a lot of soccer. And, um... All the years that I've played soccer, I mean, I don't play as much now as, as much as I want to, but before, I played a lot of soccer. Surprisingly, I never really twisted my ankle. In fact, the, mo the biggest injury that I've ever had playing soccer is this one time when I was slide tackling a ball away from uh, a forward. I was playing defense at the time, and as I was sliding, he stepped on my, on my head with his cleats very hard. And I blacked out for the rest of the game. Like, I, I eventually woke up on the sidelines with a huge headache. And that was basically the worst injury I've ever sustained when it comes to uh, soccer. But yeah, that I never really twisted my ankle, surprisingly. Alright, this next question comes from RBDude98. What's your favorite hangout? As in, like, a, a place I like to hang out? Well... I, I currently live in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania, and there is one place I really like going to around here. It's called Planet Trog. It's a laser tag uh, arena, and that's pro that's definitely my favorite place to go to whenever I want to hang out with friends or anything like that, because I love playing laser tag. It's one of my favorite hobbies, and one of my favorite, uh, like, I guess you could call it a sport, sort of. Nah, it's not really a sport, but it's like a, a nice ac activity game, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Planet Trog also has uh, an arcade that I like playing uh, retro games on, and Dance Dance Revolution, which I love. So yeah, Planet Trog, the laser tag place, anyone in, anyone who lives in Pennsylvania, in, like in the Easton or Bethlehem or Whitehall area, that's a great place, I'd recommend it. Alright, this next question comes from Light the Wolf 23 Have you ever heard of Sonic Song 182? If you have, what do you think about them? In fact, Sonic Song 182 is the main reason I actually came up with this Q&A. For those of you who don't know, Sonic Song 182 is basically um, is basically run by a girl, I think, named uh, Ames or Nux. I don't know, it's their nickname, Nux and Ames, uh, or something like that. But basically, what they do is they take a bunch of uh, Sonic cast Sonic cast plushies and things like that, and they make like very miniature movies or things like that which are very entertaining but not really my cup of tea in my opinion what i really like about them is their uh ask the sonic heroes series it's actually really entertaining because they basically use flash i think to animate the characters and they basically ask questions to the sonic heroes cast like sonic tails knuckles and uh rouge uh, Cream, basically all the characters from Sonic, from the Sonic cast, they ask them questions and they would answer them based on, like, uh, how, how you would predict them to answer. They actually do a really good job, and the voice acting that they do is strangely and surprisingly very good. Um, so if you're looking for something to view on YouTube and you have some spare time, Sonic Song 182, I definitely recommend checking out, like, especially if you're a Sonic fan like myself. Alright, this next question comes from JR... No, not... Junior Gamer 27 Sorry, he, he had to clarify that for me the last episode. Alright, what's your favorite animal besides the scorpion? <laughs> My favorite animal besides the scorpion is definitely the wolf. I freaking love wolves. They're very... They're very interesting creatures because of how intelligent they are, and honestly, I just love how they look. They look very bold, very uh, courageous, very upstanding, really. Which is which is one of the reasons why I'm a huge fan of Twilight Princess, because Link turning into a wolf, that was just really a big surprise, and it was really cool, and honestly, I just love wolves in general because of how awesome they are and how intelligent of a, of a creature it is. Definitely, the wolf is my favorite animal, besides the scorpion, of course. Alright, we're getting down to the last question, and this one comes from Quarter Guy. Which countdowns are you most proud of? Wow, that's an that's actually a really good question. Um, if I had to choose a couple, I'd definitely say my top 15 Legend of Zelda boss battles was definitely one of the best countdowns I've ever done. Um, I really did a lot of research with that list, uh, and I had to look back at when I had played the games. And honestly, 
it's it's one of my most viewed videos, and I can see why, because I, I don't want to brag or anything, but I am definitely most proud of that list, as well as my collab with Nameless Nick, the top 10 video game tropes. That one was surprisingly a lot harder than we thought it was going to be, but it's definitely um, one of the most interesting lists. Me personally, I like doing lists that not a lot of people have done, and um, that one is definitely one of the most unique I've ever done, and Weapons Month has been going extremely well among... I, I don't really have a list that I am not proud of, but if I had to choose my favorites, it would definitely be the top 10 video game tropes and my top 15 Legend of Zelda boss battles. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Alright, so we've come to the end of the episode 2 of the Green Scorpions Q&A. Once again, if you guys want to ask any questions, any at all, click in the link on the video description that will take you to the intro video and ask your questions there. I'll be back... I don't know how long, but I will be back with episode 3 of the Green Scorpions Q&A, and I will see you guys then. Later!